One of the most surprising facts about this point in time for Nintendo Switch is the fact that we do not yet have an original Donkey Kong game for the platform. While the Mario vs Donkey Kong remake is set to arrive in just over a month, that's not really what I'm looking for. Of course I'm going to play it, but what I'm really itching for is a tried and true DKC platformer, the true follow up to the Wii U's Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. You have to imagine something is in development for this iconic platforming series, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. First things first, we have to talk about the pretty big development gap the series is currently in. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze released for the Wii U console all the way back in February of 2014. Now in 2024, we're approaching the 10 year anniversary for the game. And what better way to celebrate that milestone than a new DKC release revealed at the February Nintendo Direct. A Direct that's very likely to air near the original release date of that game. With the Nintendo Switch right now, there's a unique opportunity to add an original DKC platformer to its library. The Switch isn't light on any genre of game. But when it comes to first party 2D platformers, I'd say those have been somewhat underrepresented in this generation. I believe that an original Donkey Kong Country title would fit extremely well in the 2024 game lineup, and complement the Nintendo Switch software library as a whole pretty nicely. Plus, 2D platforming games like this feel right at home on the handheld home console hybrid. They are great, big and bright on the TV, and also work extremely well in handheld. Just take Super Mario Bros. Wonder from last year as a prime example of that. Just like Wonder, a new 2D Donkey Kong game would be a fantastic big release to slot somewhere in Nintendo's 2024. And if this really is the end of the life cycle for the current generation Nintendo Switch, these types of 2D games seem like the perfect kinds of less intensive adventures. Save the big, sprawling 3D platformers for the next hardware. I'm willing to bet that's what's happening with Super Mario Odyssey 2 or whatever's coming next for the plumber. But a Donkey Kong Country game with a focus on fun, rewarding 2D gameplay and level design, that could make for a perfect end of life title for Nintendo Switch. If you ask me, it just seems like the time for Donkey Kong. I find it hard to believe we'll go another year without a new game. No matter who is developing it, you have to imagine it exists, and development work has been going on for quite a while now. And while a DKC game won't be the biggest release of the year, it could be a strong tentpole in Nintendo's lineup. But maybe it's taking this long because it actually is going to be one of the biggest, most attention grabbing games of the year. There is a chance it could be the start of a bold new direction for the character. And if this were to happen, I'd imagine a 3D platformer would be a good way for the gorilla to make his grand return. Nintendo EPD taking a stab at a Donkey Kong 64 style game starring all the Kongs would be fantastic, and a definite showstopper at any upcoming Nintendo Direct. The possibilities are pretty much endless for Donkey Kong. It's a versatile franchise, and it could go any direction on Nintendo Switch. I'm just hoping we see something from DK soon. And I know these things don't really have anything to do with the video games, but we all saw this amazing Donkey Kong Country area coming to Japan's Super Nintendo World. It'd be a shame if we weren't playing a new Donkey Kong Country game at least by the time it opens. 